flipping. Thank you, everybody, and welcome to High Rollers on the Rodney 1279 channel. Glad to have you guys with us. This is season, let me see, I forgot to put some what this is right here. I'll get it together in a minute. This is season one, episode 35 of High Rollers, and we, if you saw the last show, we have a big champion. He's the world record champion right now because... He has over $99,000. Right now, Marty, you have $99,826 right now. How do you feel? I feel pretty confident. You think you're going to win a fifth game? I sure hope so. But, you know, there's, going, there's somebody that is willing to stop you, though. We have Tim McClellan. How you doing, Tim? Good, doing, Rodney. How are you? I'm blessed and highly favored. Right. So... Oh, actually, Tim is the host of Jackpot on his channel. Thank you, thank you. And uh, we had a, a good time uh, doing Jackpot on your side, didn't we? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, that first episode went pretty good, so I guess it's all downhill from here. Yes. Well, good luck to you in High Rollers, Tim. Uh, thank you. All right, now, here's, our, well, here's what we have in the columns today. We'll start with the first column because we're not going to touch do anything with the first chat with the first column that's what I'm trying to say um the first column has the English bone China the designer chair and the game table and they're all worth sixteen thousand five hundred dollars we're not going to do anything with the uh, third column because the third column has the two mini games and the crystal collection and that third column has a potential value of $41,476. But we are going to talk about the second column, okay? Yeah. In the yeah. second column, we're going to add a sports car. Wow. And this sports car, let me put this down the sheet. This sports car is worth $19,800. And seventy-five dollars. Wow! So this game is a big one. This game is worth over. Let me see. A little fifty-seven plus nineteen, seventy-six thousand dollars. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Wow, this is a big one, y'all. Yep. All right, and I think it's column three, y'all. I'm gonna go two. One. Well, let's see what. Let's see if I'm right. I know it's three. Two. One. Oh, one, one. Yeah. Ben is right and um, Matt is right. It is common one, so that means a roll of a ten will clear it out immediately. Okay. Got it. Okay. All right. So get y'all dial pads out, and if y'all guys are ready, here's the first question of high rollers. Is it okay? Let me get this question first. The choices are Anwar Sadat, Omar Sharif, or Emin Saud. Emin Saud. Who was once president of Egypt? And I believe that was Tim. Uh, that would be Anwar Sadat. Anwar Sadat is correct. Good job. All right. All right, Tim. All the numbers are good. So tell me when you want me to roll them and we'll get started. Okay, let's have a good roll now. It's a three. How do you want to take out the three? Uh, we'll just knock off that three. Take the three off. And here's the next question. Is it Kansas, Nebraska, or Iowa that is nicknamed the breadbasket of America? It's Kansas. Kansas is the answer. Would you get curds and whey from meat, milk, or fish products? That's Tim. I think it would be milk. Milk is correct. Good job, Tim. All right. All right, Tim. I think all the numbers are good. Tell me when you want me to roll them. All right. Let's get some doubles here. I want to see a double now. Seven. I'm going to take five and two. Oh, yeah, that closed up the first column. Good job, Tim. Smart move. Very smart move. So we're going to put on your side the board, the um, English Bone China, the designer chair, and the game table worth 
$16,500 in your side of the board is only yours though, Tim, if you win the game, okay? Right. All right, here's the next question. Nine, 12, or six? How many celebrities play in each game of Hollywood Squares? Tim. Uh, that would be nine. Nine is correct. All right, now let me look at the board and see what bad rows we have. The bad row is a three, and I think three is the only bad row. Two is also a bad row. Right, but, but if you double. get if you, he rolls a two, it's a double. Yeah, it's a three roll. Uh, so I guess only three is a bad roll. I'm going to take it. He's going for it. Tell me when you want me to roll them. Alright, I want to see, I want to see, yeah, I want to see, uh, doubles. I want to see doubles now. A six. There's only one way to take out that six. Take it out, Corey. Alright. Next question. Foxy, Mopsy, and Cottontail have a very famous brother. Is it Billy the Kid, Jesse James, or Peter Rabbit? Marty. Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit is correct. Now, let's look on the board here and see. We know the three is bad. The, um, let's see, the three is bad. The six is bad. Looks like it's the three and the six. Two, three, six are bad. Everything else is good. Right. Pretty good shot. Roll it. Okay, he's going for it. Tell me when, uh, Marty. One, two, three, now. A seven. And there's only one way to take out that seven, isn't it? Yeah, take it out. All right, next question. Are you sleepy, thirsty, or amorous if you are a Samuelet? Let me read that again because that didn't come out right. Are you sleepy, thirsty, or amorous if you are a Samuelet? You're sleepy. Uh, okay, next qu Next question. In the story of the three little pigs, which of the following materials was not used to build their houses? Is it is it bricks, sticks, or stucco? Tim. Stucco. Stucco is correct. All right, Tim. All right, the good rows are a five, the eight, the nine. And the 12, the 5, the 8, the 4, 5, 8, 9, and 12 are good. And the 10. And the 10. Okay, I am going to pass. Okay, right. it goes to Marty. All right, Marty, tell me when you want me to roll it. One, two, three, now. A 6 is a bad roll, and tell me you won the first game. Right. And you got surprises, Sam. Nicely done, Tim. I will tell you that you have just won the English Bomb China worth uh, $5,000. You have won the designer chair worth $3,500. And you have the game table worth $8,000. So that is all total $16,500, Tim. All right. All right, we'll take a quick commercial break and pay some bills. And when we come back, we'll do our second game. Don't go away. Here we go. More high rollers, more fun, more prizes, and rides. Well, guys, you won't believe this. Well, Tim won $16,500 worth of prizes by no... Marty has something to say about that, don't you, Marty? Oh, yes, I do. All right, we're going to start with filling a prize in the second column. And the reason why I got so excited about the second column because of what came up out of my cards. The second column, we're going to add a speedboat. The speedboat is worth $18,000, so that is making that second column worth $37,875. And like I said before, we're not touching the third column because that's chock full. 
We had the two mini games in the third column worth $36,000 potentially, and the crystal collection worth $5,476. So the third column was worth $41,476. And Corey, what's in the first column? Well, this is a special prize of my own doing here. I think you guys will like this. Viewer's gonna uh, switch for you so you can see what it is. Okay. Here we go. Here comes your prize. In the first column, we will be adding this wonderful prize you see here. Luxury that goes way beyond words. Every letter laid on this Scrabble set will feel like a triple word score. Once again, Jeffrey Parker innovates with elegance that would translate to any language. This dolphin inlaid set features hand-bound scalps sided plinth, both refined and regal, the board bow, silver or gold embossing under a nickel-plated grid. Mm. <clears throat> so the syllables sparkle whether you're throwing down swank or any other long-lettered word. Neatly stored beneath the board are four-letter, excuse me, four-leather bound racks, including a felt drawstring bag, a booklet of the rules and letters made of buttery bridal hide. The game board is revolutionary, mounted to a concealed Lazy Susan, allowing the playing surface to rotate freely with the tiles locked firmly into place. The retail value of this cherry leather Scrabble game board is worth $4,105. Oh, $4,105. Okay. And put now, that down. $4,000 to play Scrabble? Yeah, $4,105. This is a custom board game made from real stuff. That's a nice looking Scrabble board. That can be yours, guys. If y'all play y'all dice right. <laughs> yeah, so this is the Scrabble board with $4,105. So this game is potentially worth, and I'm looking at it mathematically, is worth over $82,000. Oh, wow. All right, so I'm going to put that first column. That's the Scrabble inlay set worth $4,105. I'm going to go with column three again. Uh, I'm sticking with Rodney. Yeah. All right, let's see it. it. Number three, Paul Trace. Nope. Oh, it's number one again. Yeah. A roll of eleven will get you the nice looking prize. All right, y'all guys ready to go? Yes, we are. And I need somebody to watch the lights, uh, just in case, guys, so I can see who buzzed in. Okay. There we go. I got it fixed again. Thank you, sir. Okay. Here we go. First question. Are there more or less than 1,000 1, hours in a, in a week? Marty. There are... I think it's less. Less is correct. Okay. All right, Marty. Tell me when you want me to roll it. All right. One, two, three, now. Nine. Ooh. Uh, take out the one and the eight. One and eight, sir. There we go. Next question. Just answer yes or no. Okay. Are Washington and Lincoln's birthdays both celebrated in the same month? That's Marty. Yes. That's correct. You're right. Yeah, Marty, you just beat Tim. All right. Uh, all the numbers are good. Just tell me when you want me to roll them. All right. One, two, three, now. Ten. How do you want to take out the ten? Oh. Six and four. All right. You got the Scrabble game board. Yeah. We'll, we'll put that on your side of the board. It's the Scrabble inlay set worth $4,105. Only way you can have that set, as you know, is you got to win the game, okay? Yep. Here's another yes or no question. Is a rhubarb a vegetable? Marty. No. It is a vegetable. Yes, it is. Whoops. So it goes to Tim. All right. The good rolls, Tim, are two, three. We got the five, the seven, the eight, the nine, the 10, 11, and 12, I believe. Sounds like good odds to me. I'm going to take it. All right, here we go. All right, let's see if I can get a double. Let's see if I can get double somewhere. Ready now. A seven. How do you want to take out the seven? 
we'll just take the seven. Take the seven out. Next question. Of these virile movie heroes, who is the oldest? Charleston Heston, Burt Lancaster, or Kurt Douglas? Who was that? That was Tim. Tim? I'm going to take a guess at Charleston Heston. No, it's Burt Lancaster. Oh. Burt Lancaster. Okay, Marty, the good rolls are the two, three, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Let's see. Seven and twelve chance period. Good roll. That's about 58%. I've got a good eye about this. I'm going. You're going for it. Okay, good luck, Marty. All right. One, two, three, now. And eight. How do you... I think there's only one way to take out the eight. Yeah, the take out the eight. The three. There you go. Yeah, you got that column. Yes. Oh, boy. Marty, this column, the third column, is worth $41,476 potentially. So we're going to put that on your side. That, that leaves the two and the nine on the board. So a two, nine, or eleven will clear out everything, okay? Here's the next potential question. Nobel Prize winner Pearl S. Buck is famous for her novel, The Good Earth. Was it about Russia, China, or the United States? Marty's going to try. I'm going to take a guess and say the United States. No, it's about China. About China. All right, Tim, you know the good rolls are a 2, 9, or 11. You can play it or pass. I'm going to give it to Marty. Marty, now I don't have to tell you this. You roll an 11, you want to be a huge-ass winner, okay? All right. <laughs> 11. Tell me when. It's happened before and it can happen again. One, two, three, now. It's an eight. That's a bad roll. And Tim is the new champion. So that means that I have to put these prizes inside my ass. Whoa. And shift them back to the game board. Okay, too much information. Yeah. All right. Just a, that's just a funny. But anyway. Tim, you did not win any prizes in that game, so we give you another $100, Tim. All right. And your total is $16,600 in cash and prizes. All right. Well, Marty, you, I know you don't feel, feel too bad, Marty, do you? I don't feel too bad. You have won $99,826. That's fine. Yep, and spend it wisely, sir. Good job. I will. Thank you. All right, Tim, are you ready for the big times, the the um, the um big numbers? Yes, I am. All right, well, let's put those big numbers on the board, Corey. Now, as you know, the object of the big numbers is to clear out all nine numbers with the row of the dice. If you manage to clear out all nine numbers on the board, we'll give you $10,000 on top of everything, okay? Yeah. And as you know, if... If you don't do it, now even if you don't do it, Tim, we'll still pay you $250 for each number you do get rid of, okay? And also, as you know, if you uh, roll a double, that counts just like the regular game, okay? If you're ready to go, Tim, just tell me when you want me to let them fly. Alright, let's see some doubles. I ain't seen no doubles yet today. Let's see some doubles. Roll the dice now. A nine. How do you want to take out the nine? Uh, let's take out the one and the eight. All right, you got $500. Here we go. All right, let's see, see some doubles. See some doubles. Roll them now. An eight. How do you want to take out the eight? Uh, we'll take out the... Take out the three and the five. You got $1,000, Tim. Tell me when. All right, get some doubles. Doubles. I can use some doubles. Roll them now. A four. Take out the four. You got twelve hundred fifty dollars, Tim. All right, let's roll the dice now. An eight, two and a six. Oh. All right. 
Alright, you have a total of $750, Tim. The seven or the nine will be, are the only ones that can help you. Uh, give me a seven or a niner. Seven or a niner, nine or a now. It's a six. It's a double, though. That just gives you another turn again, uh, Tim. Tell me when. Alright, roll it now. Seven! Take out the seven! Whoa. Now, Tim, I don't have to tell you this, but I will do it anyway. If I manage to be lucky and roll a nine for you, you got $10,000. Tell me when, Tim. All right. Mini Moon, come a niner now! It's a nine! You did it, Tim! You did it! Oh, wow! Well, Tim, were you kind of nervous there? Tim, I can't thank you enough for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tim, good for you. Congratulations, wow. Tim. Thank you. That brings your winnings to $26,600. Yay. And guys, that concludes this episode of High Rollers. This is Rodney1279 signing off. Say be safe, be careful, and take care, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.